Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Trump. Uh, Donald Trump's been living it up since the Barr report on the Mueller report totally cleared him of half the charges. And that is a huge boost, and you can see it in his approval ratings. On March 23rd, the day before the Mueller report was delivered, Trump was at 41.9%. But today, with the collusion cloud lifted, that number has soared to 41.9%, which is a difference of, uh, let me see, let me see, let's a 41 point. Let's see. Ah, uh, nothing matters anymore. <laughs> Barr's report on the Mueller report changed nobody's mind about Donald Trump, which is surprising. I tuned into NMSNBC last night, fully expecting to see the Rachel Maga show. <laughs> okay, it was 1982 in New York. A young Donald Trump was plowing supermodels and, in turn, making <laughs> each of them great again. Voters were also asked if they had a more or less favorable view of Trump after Mueller's findings. 39% said more favorable, while 43% said less favorable. <laughs> so what... Let me get this straight. <laughs> after finding out that he did not collude with the Russians, people liked him less. <laughs> wait, I... Wait, wait, I don't... What? Wait. Sense, man. It no don't collusion. No sense. No collusion. Wait a second. I was hoping he was controlled by Putin, because that guy knows what he's talking about, unlike <laughs> President Numbnuts over here. <laughs> Still, big win for Trump. I mean, he has been rope doping on this Mueller thing, okay, for two years. And now he finally has a chance to get on America's good side. Step one. Take away everyone's health care because Trump is trying to kill Obamacare again. <laughs> Mr. Trump, you've just been cleared of collusion. What are you going to do now? I'm going to roll a diabetic off a cliff. <laughs> Come on. Come on, sweetness. Let's go. How dumb is this guy? In the midterms, he got his ass kicked because health care was the top issue for voters. Ow. Oh, ow. <laughs> that stove is hot. <laughs> Let's try that again with something else. <laughs> I tried to zoom out. I zoomed out. <laughs> it's a metaphor. It's just a metaphor, John. <laughs> Nobody thinks killing Obamacare is a good idea. As one GOP strategist put it, they are completely tone deaf. WTF is wrong with them. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Where TF do you start? <laughs> Trump taking away your health care is even being opposed by the two people who now have to take away your health care. Health and Human Services Secretary and man who changed his mind midway through the hair transplant. <laughs> Alex Azar, and Attorney General and Al, who won't tell you how many licks it takes to get to the center of the Russia investigation, William Barr. Okay, first of all, Barr, Barr, uh, the Attorney General, new Attorney General Barr, he clears Trump of obstruction of justice. And now, he's got to be the guy who takes away everyone's health care. It explains why Trump introduced him like this. I want to wish our new Attorney General great luck and speed and enjoy your life. Bill, good luck. Yes. Great luck. You're gonna need it because you take away people's health care, they're gonna be pissed and with nothing to lose. I'd have someone else start your car for a while, pal. So why is he doing it? Why is he doing this? According to senior advisors, Trump campaigned on repealing the health law. His base of voters would love it. Besides, they argue Democrats have been campaigning successfully on health care and Republicans should try to take it over themselves, which means having a plan, <laughs> which might be a problem, because for the last nine years, they've been trying to repeal Obamacare. Their replacement has been, heaven seems nice. <laughs> Don't you want to meet Jesus? <laughs> 
And so far, so far, the Trump administration has provided no indication, had had any specifics, for what would take Obamacare's place. In fact, Marco Rubio said of Trump, he didn't offer a plan. Listen, Marco, if I planned, I wouldn't have had Eric. <laughs> okay? Oh. Think, about, think about that. Think? Think. <laughs> True story. But it's not just health care. Yesterday, in his meetings with Republicans, Trump said he opposes further disaster aid for battered Puerto Rico. <laughs> Look, what more do they need? Those paper towels I threw at them can be used as food, shelter, and, in a pinch, the cardboard tubes make very generous lovers. Oh. <laughs> and I'm glad oh. you liked that one. Whoa. I'm glad Whoa, you liked nah. that one. I was on the fence, but now I'm sold. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's bad. That's bad. All of that stuff is bad. The healthcare of the Puerto Rico, that's bad. But it's not cartoon villain bad. If you want cartoon villain bad, look no further than Secretary of Education and woman... Woman appalled that you christened your yacht with domestic champagne. <laughs> Betsy DeVos. DeVos went before Congress yesterday to defend at least $7 billion in proposed cuts to education programs. Yeah! No, 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 no. These kids have had it too good for too long. Crayons and colored pencils. What's next? Markers? Mm. I say we go back to the good old days when every child was sent into the quarry to cut their own piece of slate. <laughs> then they're issued a single piece of chalk, and when it runs out, you're done with school. Back to the textile mill. Change some bobbins. What's you're too good for bobbins? Oh. 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 Yeah. But it gets worse. They're proposing millions of dollars in cuts to programs for students who are blind and eliminating all federal funding for the Special Olympics. Now, obviously, it would be easy to say that that's evil, but it would also be accurate. <laughs> Then, then, that's, uh, what do we got? <laughs> Health care, disaster relief, yeah. children, then there's global warming. Mm. Trump opposes the Democrats' Green New Deal, which proposes cutting greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by 2050. That's ambitious. But the plan says nothing about getting rid of cars or airplanes or cattle. <laughs> or as Donald Trump put it, I really don't like their policy of taking away your car, of taking away your airplane flights, of let's hop a train to California, of you're not allowed to own cows anymore. No airplane flights, no cows, not to mention flying cows. How are they going to jump over the moon now? That's why I'm calling for space cow force, all right? <laughs> it's time to return to the moon.